to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today. Whoa! Toki here. Mini make a message. Hello, I'm Dan. Hello, Dan. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be there very soon. Dan, so how can I help you today? Can you show me something arty to do with this old sponge? Something arty with this old sponge, eh? Let's have a think. Hmm. Ha-ha! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try using washing up sponges and scouring pads to make the perfect arty padded picture. Let's, Let's make, make it. it! But first, Dan, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon, Dan. <laughs> A large piece of card and some gloopy PVA glue. <laughs> some cotton wool balls. Hmm, we'll need some help finding the next bits we need. I wonder if scraps can help us. <laughs> Hello? Uh -huh. Scraps, are you doing the washing up? Uh -huh. <laughs> what a stroke of luck. Can I please have some clean cloths, sponges and scouring pads? <laughs> ah, cloths! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sponges, brilliant. <laughs> ah, scouring pads! Brilliant. Thank you, Scraps. <laughs> That's everything we need. So then, Dan, you wanted to make something arty with a sponge, didn't you? Yes. Well, how about this? It's a fantastic padded picture of a field made with scouring pads, sponges and washing up cloths. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in our background card. Now we're going to take our washing up cloths and we're going to scrunch, lay out and arrange them to make rolling hills that look a bit like this. Now rip your scouring pads into different shapes. Now these pieces are going to be the dark green fields in our picture. Here we go. Place your scouring pad pieces on top of the cloths and arrange them however you like. You can even build your picture up by putting some on top of each other. Now we're going to take a yellow washing up sponge like this and we're going to tear out a circle shape. There we go. Now I wonder, what's this going to be in our picture do you think Dan? The sun. The sun, that's right. Let's put it into our picture. Now we can also use these yellow sponges to tear out strips like this to make the sun's rays and also the bars on the gate at the bottom of our picture. So I need your help here again, Dan. You take one of these 
And I'll take one of these as well. And let's start tearing. That's great, Dan. We've done really well. Right, you put that last one on the pile. Brilliant, well done. Now we can finish off our sun and build the gate at the bottom of our card. We can even make some hedges by adding whole sponges along the bottom edge of the picture. There, we're nearly finished, but for one last touch, Dan, we're going to add cotton wool balls for sheep and we're going to make their heads and legs out of torn scouring pad pieces. There's a head and some legs. Make as many sheep as you like, then glue everything into place. <laughs> and there we have it, a perfect padded picture of a fantastic field of sheep. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a colourful castle with spongy doors, windows and towers? Or you could even try a beautiful sponge seaside picture with a spongy sea, sand and extra beach detail. Padded pictures, why don't you try making one today? So then Dan, what do you think? Great. Brilliant, we made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs> What a fantastic padded picture. Bye-bye, Dan. <sighs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, who could it be? <laughs> I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. What are the squares making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? What could it be? It's an ambulance. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! Here we are. It's Minute Maid time, everyone. Yeah! And today we're going to make a brilliant balancing button fly. Oh, <laughs> look at it. It's fantastic. And you can balance it wherever you like. Ooh. Oh, now, to make a button fly, you will need some thin card, a glue stick, some scissors, a pen, two buttons and some coloured stickers. Now, do you think it's possible to make this button fly in just one minute? No way! Ooh. Well, I think I can. I will have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! 
Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, let's get our card and we're going to fold it in half like this all the way down there and then we're going to draw a butterfly shape. So let's draw the wings first of all. That's a big round shape like that and then a slightly smaller round shape there. Now we're going to cut this out but we need to be careful because scissors are... Ah! That's right, round we go. Round we go there as well. All the way round. And you can take a bit longer over this than I am, but well, I'm going to try and be really quick because I'm going to try and make it in a minute. Right, there we go. And if we open that up, we've got a beautiful butterfly shape. Now let's stick on our buttons. There's one there and one there, and then we can stick on some stickers for decoration. Let's put one orange one there and an orange one there, and I think one up there as well, and one there, and then we can put some green ones on as well. A green one there and a green one there, and I've made a beautiful button fly! Yeah! <laughs> Phew, doesn't time fly? Now let's see if our button fly flies. Here we go, you ready? You ready? Here we go. Hey, <laughs> ta-da! And if you've got more than a minute, you can decorate it and turn it into a beautiful button fly. And there are lots of different button flies you can make. How about this green button fly? with curly paper antennae. Or why not try a fancy shaped button fly with shiny paper details? Button flies, why don't you make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of card in half, draw a butterfly wing shape against the fold, carefully cut it out and then unfold it, stick a button on each side like this, Decorate it with stickers, and your button fly is finished! Why don't you make a button fly in a minute? Moustache, everyone! Goodbye! <coughs> oh, I love driving the Makermobile. Where should we go to next? <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? I am orange. I'm light blue. I'm yellow. See you soon. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea what's about to happen or what we're going to make. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Are you OK? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, it's great to meet you. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh dear! I think I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> a frog in my throat. Do you get it? I've got a frog and it's going ribbit. Hmm, that was funny, wasn't it? <coughs> oh well. Don't worry, I've got a big idea. I think we should make a big pond for a big frog. So will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic! All right then, Katrin, Rajab, Abigail, Phoebe and Uze, let's make it! We're going to make a green slimy pond. So what sort of green slimy creature would live in our pond, do you think? Frog. A frog! That's right. So our frog, what's he going to look like, do you think? Green and slimy. Green and slimy, OK, what else? A webbed feet. Webbed feet, that's right. Frogs do have webbed feet, don't they? And what else do you think? 
Big googly eyes. <laughs> Big googly eyes. I think we're ready to make our frog, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> All right then, everyone. Let's jump up and make a frog. Come on, this way. That's it. I'm making a frog's googly eyes. The now these balloons will look great as the frog's arms. <laughs> oh. We're painting the lily pads on the flowers. We're about to paint the lily pad. Come on then. <laughs> and we'll need some stepping stones for our pond. Making our big pond is great fun, so why don't you try and make your own one at home? Try making this funny little frog on its own little lily pad. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need a paper cup, paint and a paintbrush, coloured card and a pencil, scissors and a paper plate, a glue stick, stickers, a pen and white tissue paper. Start by painting the paper cup a bright froggy colour and leave it to dry. Then draw around it onto a piece of coloured card to make two circles and carefully cut them out. Now cut one of the circles in half and the other circle into smaller pieces like this. Then take two of the small pieces and glue them onto a coloured paper plate for froggy feet. Stick the cup on top so it covers the edge of the feet. Now stick the two big halves of the circle onto each side of the cup for legs. Add some stickers for froggy spots. Then scrunch up two tissue paper balls for eyes and stick them on top of the cup. Add black dots for pupils and a big smiley mouth. Your funny little frog is finished and ready to play with. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic way to make a frog. Well, I wonder how our big pond's coming along. <laughs> That's it, everyone. Well done, Abigail. Let's make the water. Nearly finished. There we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! What a perfect pond. Ribbit. 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 Mr. Maker! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> Mr. Baker. <laughs> 